Hello everyone, I'm Lost, and welcome to another episode of Weapon Spotlight. And today, I think Hollow Knight music will be perfect for the intro. We are talking about the Great Sword, which is not a Great Sword, no, it's a Colossal Sword, which is weird. But look at that beefy big boy, huh? You might be inclined to think by using this weapon that I am compensating for something, but I will have you know, good sir, that my penis is perfectly serviceable, as in my wife services me <laughs> every night. I probably shouldn't say that out loud when she's in the other room. Anyways, uh, the moveset of this weapon is really nice. I love the running attack. It's nice to catch people with because it moves you a little bit forward. The light attacks have this big, beautiful arching swings. The same with the heavy attack. And if you charge the heavy attack, you get a really nice mix up. I really love that. Of course, we all know what comes next, right? It's the infamous crouch poke. Look at how quick that goes. Certain players have become experts at roll catching with that, which is quite a pain. It really shouldn't come out that quick. When it comes out after the roll, it's fine because the roll telegraphs the attack. But the crouch? No, it's too quick. It really needs a nerf, or if I was from soft, I'd just switch it out with a different attack. Anyways, let's take a look at the damage here, shall we? The damage is a very respectable 844. Yeah, and this is all physical damage, nothing else. So you can put other stuff on this weapon if you really want to. My level at the moment is 138. I prefer to be 125, but I forgot again to uh, change my characters. So that's what you get. I have 66 strength, which means that when I two-handed, I get 99 strength, and it, that makes it just as powerful as you can get it. As far as the weapon arch goes, I have tried a few different ones. Now, you'll see a bunch of them in the video, uh, but I originally started using Giant Hunt, and I had to stop, because I... I did so many invasions that just ended up on the cutting room floor because I went in, did one crouch poke, then into weapon art and the fight was over. It was ridiculous. Now I ended up choosing to go with the lion's claw at the end simply because it didn't end fights quite as quickly but it's still a really good weapon art to make use of. All in all, it's going to be some really interesting invasions, trust me. And let's begin with a little dose of sneakiness. I managed to make it up here without them noticing somehow, and I thought, how about an ambush? That backfired severely, and now I'm on the back foot. Oh dear, what am I going to do? I see this little island, I jump over, and I gain a moment of peace. And now it's a standstill. What are you going to do, people? I throw some daggers, they throw some magic, and so I'm starting to think, what do I have available to me? Oh yeah, I have the Crimson Whirl Bubble Tear and the Poised Tear, and that's a perfect combination for that weapon art. So we jump over, and he doesn't know, he didn't learn, and boom, one more death. That was, quite frankly, a really funny start to this video. Moving on, we're actually fighting the Moonlight Ronin. That's a beautiful name. In fact, this man was waiting for me here to fight me in the flowers. You know what? Pause, pause the video. We are going to have to do something to make this a little bit more epic. We need music to properly enjoy this. Yes, that feels much more appropriate. This man knows exactly what he wants, and that is an epic fight, and so I decide to give it to him. We try to trade some blows, but neither of us score a hit, so he backs down, reaches down into his bag of tricks, and pulls out whatever the hell those things are. I don't remember its name, but it does look beautiful and very apt. 
considering this man's build. Now I dodged my way towards him, I did not score a hit. I jumped towards, immediately jumps back because I realized he had a charge up. I charge and then I come in with a mix up, I score a hit. I'm too slow though and I get rewarded with a weapon art to the face. He does a lot of damage. Now, I need to be very careful. And he's got two katanas now. And in the end, we both go down to the weapon arch. What a nice fight, sir. GG. I really appreciate that. From a field of flowers to a field of poo. <laughs> now I have three phantoms to contend with. This man simply pulls out Mogwin Spear. I was a little confused on how to deal with this, but I just choose to commit. And it works out for me, luckily. So of course I have to back down because I'm still being pushed. This man has both Rot, Bleed and Frost, so he can do a lot of damage. Lucky for me though, he doesn't have a lot of health. And so I use Warcry, change up my heavy attack and I actually managed to get him down. Now, it's just me and the host, and I was a little confused because he's just standing there talking. Maybe he didn't see me. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, sir, but I'm a red. I exist to prohibit you from making progress. That's what I take pleasure in. I don't need any other rewards. All I need is for you to die. That might say a few things about me, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I shield break him, I don't get the repost. I shield break him again, I technically get the repost, but I do not get any damage. This man is a shield poker, and I got a little damage with my crouch book. It can be effective against me, but you have to be able to manage your stamina. Because my weapon is big and it does a lot of stamina damage. I also have Warcry, which can do a bunch of fun things. Doesn't do anything fun there though. And I just now realize it's really dark in here and I get another repost and no more damage. Look, that was so frustrating, I remember it now. Luckily though, I do manage to kill him at the end there. And straight into another invasion, this one was another doozy. Here we go, we have the Lion Claw, and I almost managed to kill one of the Phantoms, which is super important in this fight because they keep hurling lightning at me. They have so many projectiles, I get him so close again, but no cigar, and so I have to run away. And I try some stupid weapon arts there, but I was like, maybe I can get a weapon art and m make myself look amazing. But I didn't, and so I just look stupid. Remember kids, it's only stupid if you don't succeed. <laughs> I do have a little bit of backup though. We have one of those, I suppose, teenager... Eldritch Abominations up there in behind me, so I just decide, you know what, I'm gonna run over here. As you can see, he keeps just pelting me with projectiles. Come on, run away! And here we go, he hits a few on the host, I run away, and I think, okay, okay. Let's be smart about this, Lost. Let's, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need a little extra damage, so I put some stuff on my sword. Fantastic. And I see the guy. I didn't get him. But he is so insistent on hitting his weapon art that I kill him. My weapon art beat your weapon art. Mine is bigger than yours. So now I can breathe a little bit. I got one of them and I try to be sneaky again. And here I see he stands right there. Oh, if I had just gotten him there, that would have been an amazing little sneak. I don't, but I keep the push, the, the push. <laughs> I keep the, what's the word? The pressure, there we go. And the man is dead. Now it's just me and the host. And you know what? Running back, looking at the background right now, that does look really amazing. Look at those trees. Anyways, we are done <laughs> enjoying the forest. And now we have to fight. 
He uses Rivers of Blood. Rivers of Blood has been nerfed, but it's still really good. I need to respect it. Luckily, my weapon is much more heavy hitting. So if I just get in a few attacks, bang. And here we go. I just now remember that this weapon is really good at roll catching. Which is not something that I have done a lot in this video so far. But it is something that I really should take into account. Another invasion, which is of the more peculiar variety. I find this guy just laying in the water, looking up at the sky. Why are you doing this, good sir? It's going to ruin your armor. Anyways, he also has a colossal sword. Fantastic. So, it's you and me versus, well, each other. And then we... <laughs> I really like that man. Him and I, we think alike. So, a few shield pokes, or why do I keep calling it shield pokes? A few crouch pokes. Look, I don't generally use colossal weapons that much. And when I do, I try not to use the poke attack. I do get a weapon art hit on him though, and he is down far. His bleed hits could be... Be the death of me. One hit and I might be dead. So I need to play this careful. I need to be smart. And I charge up an attack and I manage to catch him. That's something that I mentioned earlier in the intro. And I really enjoy with the colossal weapons. It's that you can charge up and it can be used as a very nice mix up. Because these guys, they don't expect it. Anyways, we're a chair, and chairs are dangerous, and this is, oh, one of like a million times where I managed to get him all the way down to a sliver, but still he remains alive. My god, you saw it in the other invasion with the three guys, and now this one. Alright, so... He's trying to get me, but he doesn't realize that his weapon doesn't go through the railing. So, I have to be quick here. I have to kill one of them, because they are both in front and behind me. And I do not like being the ham in the sandwich. <laughs> I, I prefer to be the buns. Oh, don't take that out of context. I kill the man, and we go straight into another invasion, and these guys don't understand. I have invulnerability for a little while. Okay, not anymore, so now I have to be careful. I was certain that was going to be my death. I have to be careful here, though, but I do manage to get a giant hunt roll catch. That's something that you can do. You can crouch poke and then use the giant hunt to roll catch your opponent and it it's almost always a death i indeed i did a lot of that in this uh in this play session i just didn't get a lot of the footage because it was over so quickly i did want to get this footage in the video though because look at this that looks epic I know that I am the one who died, and I don't care. If something is stylish, I will give it the proper amount of respect. What I don't give respect, though, are hosts that run away. Granted, that's the smartest thing to do in this situation, because he just ran past all of these enemies. Maybe they don't exist for him. Anyways, he runs away, gets his fandom, and I get bombarded by shield pokes and, you know, crouch pokes or roll pokes, which is, you know, respectable. I've been doing this this entire time, so I can't complain when some somebody's doing it to me. But, are they not taking damage up there? I don't know they are. It's just a little weird looking. Anyways, I charge up and I get a really good hit there. And now they're on both sides of me. I turn over, maybe trying to get a stylish, can't even see you hit. But it doesn't work for me. Oh, I do manage to get a weapon art off though. And he dies to the bubbles. And there's a red in the background. Not anymore though. 
over to the winter wonderland and one swing and that person is almost dead yikes can you stop being so annoying sir how about you just go away and let me kill your host he also can't take a lot of damage look at that one crouch poke and he almost 700 damage that's some solid damage now i do realize okay this person is dragon heading which means if he does that close to me, what I can do is I can pull off a Lion's Claw right into that attack and he's gonna be dead. And here it comes! Immediate death. Brilliant, if I might say so myself. And I did! Well done, Lost! <laughs> and I wake up to this man being eaten by a snake. Ah, I suppose there are worse ways to go, but I can't think of any at the moment. Dying from a gangbang of poisonous dogs, maybe? Yeah, that might be worse. Although the dogs weren't poisoned, he was poisoned. But you understand, you know what I mean. Anyways, weren't there three people here? I could have sworn there were an extra person here. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Doesn't matter. Uh, he's running away. Tries to heal. I don't understand why he's not just going for the Estus, but maybe he's already drunk all of the Estus? Now, there we go. He's got a little extra Estus. He thought he was safe, but he wasn't. I tried to get him, but it gets a goddamn backstab instead. Not very good, no. And he also does really good damage because he's got the fire spell. Of course... With a little help from my trusty doggo and the rest of the c crew, this man does not exist anymore. Lord of the Bonk. You know what? <laughs> I had to keep this invasion in the video. Uh, as you'll see very quickly, walking up to a man and trying to attack him when you don't have any armor is not great. I don't manage to hit him. Well, I do manage to hit him there. He doesn't have his thing anymore, and I just simply kill him. But I respect the dude that walks around naked, and he's green. He's probably an orc fanboy, and I can respect that, because the orcs are my favorite Warhammer 40k faction. And I meant to do that, by the way. That was totally on purpose. Hey, Gabo. Or Garbo. No, it's Gabo. Gabo gets... No respect. <laughs> Off with Gabo and onwards with... I can't read that name. Again, I'm actually recording this in the editing software and the names are so short. But we're using Giant Hunt and Giant Hunt fixes everything. Back with Runekeeper, this man was going through the area, tongued, and I can really respect that. A lot of people that want to fight tongued, they generally don't go through the level. They just wait by the grace, or they try to gank you in the middle of the frozen lake. So I respect this man so much. I need to be careful though, because it seems like the friend he got is a little bit more competent. At the very least, he managed to do some solid damage on me. So, we need to end this quickly. And unfortunately, I have quick step. Yeah, I tried that quick step. I wanted to get some backstabs in here and... Uh, well, it wasn't the greatest choice. The man is trying to madness grab me though. And we managed to get both of them. And I want to kill him. But unfortunately, he hits me in the face and I die. As you do. But they're very respectful. And I want to say GG to you guys. You did an excellent job. Last invasion of today. And we are in the underground. Fighting against... Well, what's that again? Ooh... It's that sword. It is the one sword that I can never, ever tell the timing of. You see, when it comes at me like that, I just keep dodging and I get hit every time. I need to get more proficient. So, I drink my juice box and uh, <laughs> I giant hunt them. <laughs> For the invasion score, this weapon gets a 10 out of 10. 
it is so incredibly useful. It is so incredibly versatile with a bunch of this different weapon arch and it has the overpowered crouch poke. I can't give it anything else. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe or I will shank you in the throat. Kisses.